Good morning, friends. I got my nails done like I said I was going to. We got beautiful green sparkly festiveness. Just putting some Urban Decay All Night Primer on my face. Um, I didn't get my eyebrows done. Um, that's something I just didn't get done. But um, they were busy and I had to come back. It was, a, it was a whole thing. So I'm doing the mini Trio Chrome palette. This goes with her big Trio Chrome palette that had greens and golds and purples in it. And this is the blue roll. Um, so... I'm wearing blue today, so I figured, why not? I've been meaning to try this, and I haven't. So even the packaging, you can see the packaging changes colors. The packaging is also duochrome. You can, there you go, you can see purple to green. It probably goes blue, yeah. So even the packaging is kind of cool. And then you have five shades here. We're gonna start out with this bright blue shade, which is called I can read it, Voltaic. And um, I'm excited actually about using the duochrome shade. I guess we should swatch them. Let's go ahead, since there's just five, let's go ahead and swatch them. I mean, that couldn't be more perfect match for what I'm wearing today, right? Here comes the duochrome shade. Look at this one. Beautiful. Now the deeper blue shade to deepen the outer corner. These don't swatch well, these match, these dark mattes, but usually on the eye they do pretty good. Um, then we have the light blue shade. That'll help buff out the edges. And then, let's clean a finger off. We have this like silver. It's silver with a little blue. It's like a blue tinted silver. So there are our shades. I will use all of them today to get us going. I'm so bad with my ADD. I have, I went over there to clean my hand off and then I looked at the stove and the stove was dirty. So then I moved all the pots and then I sprayed it so it could soak and I was getting ready to scrub it. And I'm like, nope, Terry, finish this video. And then it'll be all nice and soaked in and make it easy for you to take care of. And I have medicine and I'm still doing that. I think I, um, I'm on a super low dose of medicine and it's helped me so much this year with getting stuff done and focusing. But I do think I need um, a possibly a little bit more than I've, I've got. I, it took my body a while to get used to it. He first overprescribed me and I had to go back. And then I went down to like a really, really low dose. I'm just cleaning this brush off. Um, and my body got used to it because he thought I was a little heavier than I was when I started taking it. Um, I'm on Vyvanse in case anybody is wondering. Okay, so as good as what we're going to get. All right, I'm going to start with the first shade. Um, like I said, that's called Voltaic. Let's come in close. Also, my eye is doing a little better from yesterday. That redness, that was like that yellowy redness. I don't know what that was. So um, anyway, it's doing better. So um, you're going to see skipping on old eyelids with these dark shades. Um, I'm gonna end up getting it all in here, which is fine. I'm gonna take care of that. But you're gonna see skipping until it's blended with the lighter blue because it's such a dark shade. So this is one of those looks that you're gonna have to trust the process. Um, and I don't, you guys know, I don't really do a lot of blue on my blue eyes because blue isn't the best color for blue eyes. Um, well, at least not the blues like this. But I think that that trio chrome shade is going to change the whole game up. And I'm not worried about here because we're going to cover all that up. All right, I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to clean up the insides and then we'll keep going. I'm going to do a little bit more blending and then we'll move to the next color. Okay, now I am going to go in with the lighter blue shade. And I'm going to lay that up at the top here. 
and blend a little bit. I actually wish this was even lighter. There's a really light blue in our um, Odin's Eye Palette, and I may dip into that for the lightest blue that goes right up at the brow bone here, because I think that would actually look really pretty. So we can put this in here, and this blue does soften the look. But I can already tell you this isn't my favorite one. Even if the look ends up coming out pretty, let me see if I can find that light blue because um, these are just harsh colors to work with. Might be good for a good dark, deep skin tone. Um, and, I'm, and I'm gonna have to put lashes on to make it work. Yeah, so this one in Odin's Eye um, has this really pretty powder puff blue. Let's use that as our top color. Yeah, that needed it. That's what this palette's missing right here, is something this light, in my opinion. This is all my opinion, cause, cause I'm the one reviewing it, right? <laughs> so, but I'm mixing that in with that just to soften this look up and give it what we need. I have, looks like old glitter on my face too, or on my eye. Is that okay? I do like this shade in Odin's Eye. I hadn't used it really, so it's nice to be able to use this too. I'll probably use that also somewhat on the inner corner a little bit. Okay. Ooh, I look like Mimi from Drew Carey Show. Hopefully that changes. <laughs> All right, um, going in with the darkest of shades, the center one right here, the really dark one. This is Stratos. I'm not sure I'll go out like this. We'll see. I got to look. I'm still trying to trust the process, friends. Still trying. I'm hoping that that duochrome shade sort of fixes all. Because this one's, I don't know. I mean, the shades work fine. It's just not, um, well, I'm not afraid of color, but this is definitely out of my color comfort zone. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready to use that duochrome. Let me grab a brush. Okay. The duochrome shade is called Overcast. Uh, right here. It's got purples and greens and, sorry, purple and green and blue in it. So we'll see what it does on the eye. I'm going to put a little silver in there too. I can see when I move my eye, the different, the, a little bit of purple coming in, a little bit of green. Don't know how much that's going to translate though for you guys on camera. I wonder if I wet it, if we'll get more of that duochrome shade. Let's try it. Looks more purple now that I wet it. Or maybe we're getting more green, I don't know. Okay, oops. Let's go into the silver next. Silver is named Pharaoh.
kind of want to wet this one too a little. I think I'm going to because I feel like it's a little powdery or something. Oh, that's much nicer wet and easier to use. Kind of pushing that right over the top. All right, I am gonna go back over that a little bit more with the Trio Chrome too. Because this is still wet. Whew, okay, let me clean up. I'm gonna put some, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, whew, that's a lot of blue for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. Let's get started with that. And then I'm gonna come back and we'll do the bottom of the eye. Just a little bit of our concealer. We'll go right up in there. Okay. Probably too much concealer, what I just did, but it's fine. Oh, look at that. That needs fixing. All right, that's as good, I think, as I'm gonna get. Yeah, not loving this yet, okay. And the bottom. I'm gonna take the darkest shade. We use the center one here. And I'm gonna push that right there. This would be a better palette for somebody who didn't have dark blue eyes like me. Cause to me, it's just all one color, you know? All right, I'm going into the lightest shade now. All right, I'm gonna put in the center, or in the corner of my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the silvery blue that's in here. This would be pretty on somebody with brown eyes or green eyes, I think, more so than somebody with blue eyes. Now, the Baby Biba, I think it was, that came out with the browns would be beautiful. Um, that one I did do a short on from Natasha. That's really pretty on blue eyes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that silver right up here and pop it on the, up here. Okay, okay, let's do liner and lashes. We totally need it. Okay, Ooh, this is a lot. I'm going in with more cosmetics, their cream blush uh, in the shade Love Heat. Um, if you are sleeping on the brand Mora, you need to um, go check them out. I have a pretty big order coming from them, so we're gonna show you quite a bit more. Um, Mora had a sale during um, Black Friday, and they have really great items, really good quality. Most of it I love, and they are affordable, which that is hard to find. So, okay. Just clean it up around the edges. We're gonna let that set just, just sit down just a minute, see if it dries up a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. I had a lip liner from Mora up here. I don't know if I still do, let me see. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is I think just in the color natural. And 
Now, if you have blue eyes that lean more green, oop, this will look, I can't talk and do this, but that I think that'll look better with you, with you, this color combo. This, it's pretty, it's just not the best for blue eyes, right? But I wanted to show you, like, it'd be so much prettier if you had green eyes, or brown, or even hazel. Comment down below your eye color, curious and your favorite colors to wear with your eye color. Mine are browns and oranges because they look the best on me and they really pop my eye color out, but I also wear a ton of like burgundies and mauves and pink. And I've done some blue looks that look good where the blue is more greeny. You go blue green. This, however, is a pure solid blue, other than like the purpley shade. So I have this, this is really dark, so I'm just gonna use it lightly because it's like kind of a burgundy. It's called um, Lux Trans Lipstick. It's just in the color 428, doesn't actually have a shade. I don't know, it's really dark. Okay, going in with my Jeffree Star highlight. And this is my Wayne Goss 15 brush, which I love. Yeah, not my favorite look, friends. Um, I probably won't get much more use out of this. I might use this shade in here um, and the silvery blue shade from time to time. But if I were going to declutter a Natasha Denona, it'd be this one. I don't love it. I don't love it. It's too much. It's too much. I am going to take some photos. Um... I don't like it. I don't like it. L let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm being too hard, but yeah, this isn't my favorite, but let me bring you in and show you a close up. So I think it's just too dark. It's like too harsh. Maybe I wonder if I went over it with like, with nothing on a brush. It's just too much. I don't know. We'll see if it fades throughout the day, but it's not me. All I can see is Mimi from Drew Carey when I look at myself. So this is the blue look. So you can see it and decide whether you're going to get this one or not, but I would pass on this one. I do have a 15% off code if you um, want anything from Natasha or whether it's this or something else. I'll link that below. I'll link this, but I'll link just my link and code below. So if you want to get um, something fun from there, you can get a little bit of a sale um, price on it. So she might be running sales on her own right now. I don't know if you can compare, like if you can double up my code with a sale item. If you can, that would be an awesome deal for something. So, all right, there's going to be some photos at the end, but this is not my fave. I don't love it, but it's a review channel and sometimes we review things we don't like. So um, let me know your thoughts on this palette if you have it, if you like it, and also comment down below your eye color and your favorite eyeshadow wear with your eye, your favorite eyeshadow colors to wear with your eyeshadow. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next video.